So if you know how to work with regular fractions, i.e. fractions just with numbers, you should be able to figure out the answer to this algebra problem. So what we're doing here is dividing two algebraic fractions. So the first fraction is 5a over 3b, and we're going to divide this by 30b over 9a. Now feel free to use your calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time, 5a over 3b divided by 30b over 9a. What is this equal to? Well, I'm going to show you the answer in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need additional help in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. So the correct answer is a squared over 2b squared. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. If you're like Mr. U2 Math Man, I understand regular fractions, but I'm confused with this A and B stuff. Well, don't let this bother you. A and B are what we call variables. And in algebra, all these things are, are representations or symbols that represent numbers. So again, if you know how to divide regular fractions just with uh, numbers, this uh, problem will make perfect sense. So let's see the solution right now. So as I indicated in the beginning of this video, if you know how to divide fractions just with numbers, well, then you'll be able to understand this algebra problem. Now, technically, fractions in algebra, i.e. fractions that have variables in them, are called rational expressions. Right? That's a very important word in math, rational. And when you hear uh, rational, this word in mathematics, you want to think of fractions. So a rational number in math is something like two-thirds. It's a number that we can express as a fraction where the numerator and the denominator are integers. So if you don't know what an integer is, matter of fact, let me just go ahead and do a quick review of this. So here is our number line. Here is zero. This is one. This is two. This is negative one. This is negative two. These numbers here are integers. So we uh, can take all these numbers and construct all sorts of fractions. So if you can make a fraction where the numerator and the denominator is an integer, that's called a rational number. Now, in algebra, when you have a fraction with a variable, we uh, refer to this not as a fraction so much. We refer to these things as rational expressions. So for those of you that are trying to learn algebra, or if you're studying algebra right now, you would want to kind of reference that uh, chapter or unit in your textbook called Rational Expressions, Rational Equations. Okay, so again, words definitely count in math, but uh, the secret to doing this problem is to understand how to work with regular fractions. Because again, as I indicated in the beginning of this video, these variables are just representations of numbers. So 5a in algebra, this 5 and this a right here means 5 times a or 5 times some number. So a can be any number. Maybe it's 2, maybe it's 3. So just think of this as one number, and this is another number, and this is one number, and this is another number. So we need to review how to divide regular fractions. And let's take a look at this simple example right here. So we have 1 half divided by 3 fifths. How do we divide fractions? Well, actually, this is very easy. So what we're going to do is change this problem from a division problem into a multiplication problem. So we have 1 half divided by 3 fifths. We're going to rewrite this. We're going to change this from division to multiplication by flipping the fraction to the right of the division symbol upside down. That's called the reciprocal. So here we have 3 fifths. We're going to turn this thing upside down. So now we have 5 over 3, or 5 thirds. So again, we're going to take this problem here and write it as a multiplication problem. So that's step one. Then we need to know how to multiply fractions. And this is very easy as well. 
because to multiply fractions, all you do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So this would be 1 times 5 is 5, and then that's going to be 2 times 3 as our denominator. So that is 6. So our answer here is 5 over 6. So if you understand uh, this procedure on how to divide fractions, this is exactly what we're going to do to solve this problem. So let's take a look at the setup here. So we have 5a over 3b. Again, this is a numerator. This is a denominator. And we're going to divide this by 30b over 9b. So in algebra, when you are dealing with uh, rational expressions, i.e. fractions, you need to think about what you would do with regular fractions, just with numbers. So whether you're dividing rational expressions, multiplying or adding, you pretty much follow the same steps as you would uh, follow with fractions with numbers. So here, we're going to go from division to multiplication. And what we're going to do is flip this rational expression upside down. We're going to find the reciprocal. So 30b is going to go to the denominator, and 9a will go to the numerator, numerator Excuse me. and now we need to uh, think about how to multiply these two rational expressions. So I hope you're learning something from this video, and if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. So the final step here is actually pretty easy because we have this rational expression times this rational expression. And again, to multiply fractions or rational expressions, we're going to multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So we have 5a over 3b times 9a over 30b. We're going to multiply the numerators. So let's just kind of focus in on that right now. So 5a times 9a is equal to 45a squared. So in algebra, when you are multiplying two uh, variable terms, you're going to multiply the respective numbers and variables. So 5 times 9 is 45, and then a times a is a squared. So the product of 5a and 9a is 45a squared. And then down in our denominator, we have 3b times 30b. So that answer is going to be 3 times 30, which is 90. And then b times b is b squared. So at this point in the problem, we're looking pretty good. But as in any fraction, you want to fully simplify. So right here, we have 45 over 90. If you had this fraction, 45 over 90, hopefully you would see that we can reduce this fraction, right? So 45 goes into 90 two times. So this is really one half. So we want to fully reduce our fractions. So 45 goes into 90 two times. So we're left with an A squared up in the numerator and two times B squared down in the denominator. So here is our final answer a squared over 2b squared. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.